Okay, so for this week's lesson, we are going to be talking about the single crochet and how to do it. Last week we did the chain and a little bit into slip stitch and joining. Um, so let's go ahead and start with chain 16 and then we will move on to the single crochet. So I'll do it with you. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So here you've got a good start. After this lesson you will actually be able to make a scarf with this. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and do a chain 16. Now for the single crochet, each stitch has a height and the height of a single crochet is one chain. So every row that you do of a single crochet, you want to be one chain tall. So when we work into our foundation chains, we want to skip that first one. I used a chunkier yarn tonight, so hopefully you'll be able to see a little better. So the one on the hook we don't count. This is our first one. This would be our second chain from the hook. We're going to crochet into that and you go underneath the top loop and also underneath the back loop. You're going to pick up your yarn and now you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull it through both loops that are on your hook and that is your first single crochet and I'll do it a couple more times slowly just so you can see what I'm doing. So again you insert your hook under that top loop and through the middle you're going to go under that back loop as well. Pick up your loop, yarn over, and pull it through both loops. Now if you're having a hard time finding your spot you can take your hook and you insert oops, right in between the arrows and then there's kind of a bump on the back and it goes under that. That's where you're going. So now you kind of see it a little better and I will demonstrate one more time. Slowly insert, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up this row with you and when you get to the end you can hit on pause and we'll catch up. Alright so now we're going to head, go ahead and do the last single crochet of your row. This one is kind of hard to get but you'll get it. So again pull through that loop, yarn over, pull through two. So now if you go back and count you can see you've got a nice row of arrows and you count each one. You should have 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's a good idea when you first start out to get in the habit of counting your stitches in your rows because it's easy to mess up your rows and skip a stitch or increase a stitch and not realize it. So we've done that last single crochet and what you want to do now is you want to do a chain one. This is called your turning chain because remember the height of your row is one chain. So every time you finish a row you chain one and then you turn your work. Now this part is really much easier than working into your foundation. You are going to want to insert your hook front to back right under those little arrows and it should slide right in without a problem and you're going to work it the same way but you'll see how much it easier it is. So you insert your hook, pick up your loop, yarn over, pull through two and you work your single crochets the exact same way it's just a lot easier to work them. When you get to the end of your row you're going to want to chain one and turn and just keep doing it this is a good way to get consistent with the size of your stitches and you can just keep going, keep going, keep going and you have yourself a scarf, make some fringe, it'll be real cute. So that was lesson two, the single crochet and the next lesson will be the half double crochet. See you then.